Hello and welcome. We're going to continue with our series. Again, check out the link in the description of this video if you're watching it on YouTube. Uh, to the full playlist, be sure to watch previous videos or you may be a little confused. Uh, but we're going through uh, writing Zscript, which is for writing scripts for Doom to mod Doom. Again, all you need is a text editor. You don't need anything else. You don't need any special tools, just a text editor. And today we are going to modify what um, weapons you start with when the game starts. Again, go to gitlab.com forward slash millix1000. You can find my code, my examples there. There should be a link again in the description of the video. Let's go to examples here. Today we're going to be looking at the um, start weapon. That's right. Uh, so we have three files in there. So you can go into that. You can download that. You can see I just created this earlier today. And uh, I am in that directory right here. We have three files. So I can show you that this file is our Zscript file, which is going to load all our other script files. I'm telling it what version of G, uh, Zscript we're using. And we're going to include this next file. This next file is, oops. Again, I'm using Vim as my text editor, actually NeoVim. Use whatever text editor you prefer. Uh, but here, you can see I have notes up here. I try to put notes, click on that. This is actually straight from the ZDoom wiki. And so I'm just copying that, but I'm showing you how it works. So, cause you may not know exactly where to put this and how it all works. So we're saying starting items handler. That's what we're calling it. We're creating this class, basically this function that, that we're calling that. And when we call it this event handler, we're, what event are we gonna look for? Well, we're gonna look for when the player is spawned. When the player is spawned, we're gonna throw that into this E variable. And then we're going to check, okay, all the players, uh, and we're gonna, cause there might be more than one player and we're gonna put it into a variable called uh, PMO. Okay, so as long as this, this player exists, what are we gonna do? Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clear the inventory. This removes all items. Uh, then we will give them the fist, we'll give them the, a clip, we'll give them a pistol, and we'll give them a shotgun. And then here we can say, you know, how much ammo they have. So if I was to save this, we do need to modify one more file, which I already have here, which is the map info file. The map info file um, will allow you to modify aspects of the map, such as the sky, the music, uh, and and a few other things, which I haven't really, I've touched on, but haven't really gone on to in the series yet. But if we go into here, you can see all we're saying is game info, add event handler. Again, if you're creating a class, or you're creating a function that is not attached to an actor already, an item in the game already, we're gonna have to add that here. So again, this, we're saying add event handler, what event handler? It's going to be what we named it here. So those two things have to match. If we do that, and then we sell GZ Doom to load a file. Again, we're going to be looking at our current directory here. We're loading up Doom 2 and warping to the first map. Right away, you can see I've got the shotgun. I've got the pistol and I've got my fist. And if I go back to the shotgun here, I have eight. Um, which is the default that you get. So really I, I put, a 100 in there? What did I put in there? This is confusing because I, I put, oh, give us one pistol, uh, one fist, and 50 clips. I, it, this is the number you get, but I put 100 shotguns. That's wrong. So let's go ahead and uh, fix that. So if I just copy this and I change this, I believe the ammo is called shell. Yeah, just shell. And we will say 50. I think, I think we will now start with 50 shells, although it might be 58, although we have a max of 50. Anyway, there, now we have 50 shells. So before I was saying, give the player 50 shotguns, which doesn't make any sense. Now, to be clear, you could start with any weapons you want. If I go in here and I was to remove this and this, you can also have the player start with all the weapons and no ammo. If you want, you can say, oh, but what? you've already got all the weapons. Just go find the ammo. Kind of like back in the day, if you ever played the X-Men conversion or the, yeah, the X-Men conversion of the original uh, Quake, you actually had an arm that morphed into different weapons. So you never actually picked up weapons. You just picked up ammo. Theoretically, you could do that. But look, I got the shotgun. If I hit one, I got the fist here. But if I hit two, I don't, I don't have the, the pistol. So we started off with just the shotgun and fist, but even more so you can go, hey, uh, what if we do this? Just delete all of this. Now that we do that, you don't even have your own fist. You can't even punch something. And I don't, there's no way to pick up a fist. So look, yeah, yeah, see I can hit one, two, zero, whatever. I don't have anything until I go pick up something. So you can get rid of the fist if you want doing that. Uh, 
And of course, uh, as noted up here, and this knows directly from the website, the one problem with doing this is this current way that we're doing this, and there's other ways to do it, but this is doing it every time a player spawns on every level. So basically, especially since we're doing this clear inventory, every time you get to a new level, uh, it's going to reset all this, which could be useful. You could also put a check in here to see what level you're at. So maybe you want to have a level where you start off, where you lose all your weapons and you start off with nothing uh, or maybe just your fist. You know, uh, it makes me think of, I mean, it happens in Doom, right? You, you finish uh, episode one and then you start the next episode again with just the pistol. Uh, but you could also start with no weapons, which makes me think of like the third-ish level of Duke Nukem 3D. They capture you and throw you in the electric chair and you start that level with no weapons other than your, your fists and kicking. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, play around with that. And I thank you for watching again. Uh, all my examples are up on my GitLab page. There's a link in the description of this video. Also check out my website, uh, filmsbychris.com, where there is a, you can search through all my videos, but there's also a support section. I have been doing videos for like 15 years now, all on open source and mostly programming. I've done stuff on Doom in the past, uh, you know, making uh, maps with Eureka was what I used in the past, although I'm looking into learning more about other map editors, more modern app map editors. Uh, but yeah, if you like my videos and you want to support me, there's a support section. I would really appreciate that. If you can't support me that way, please share these videos. Again, this is a topic that I feel really needs some good tutorials. There's good, some good documentation, but not good tutorials out there, at least not that I could find on Zscript. And so I'm hoping that this is helpful for a lot of people. So please share this with anyone who you think it might help. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.